this question is, uh, well, originally it was, how do I um, put something on top of a movie using Articulate, uh, like a text box or using an arrow to point something out? And the answer is simply you can use QuizMaker to do that. It's, uh, it's really fairly simple to do. I can just go insert a shape, and it'll actually, unlike a presenter, it'll actually uh, stay on top of there and, and show. You can point to things. Um, and then it was asked, how do I time this? I mean, how do we set it up so that it appears at the exact right time? A little more trickier. So what you want to do is, I'm just actually going to go preview this. Uh, and this is my movie I've inserted already. I'm going to let this play. And I'm just going to watch for when I want my uh, text boxes I've created to help in. So I'll do one at nine seconds. And then I'll do the next one just a little after that. But you can go through here and if you need to, you can scrub. I do have the player bar on, that actually helps out so that I can sort of scrub back and forth and uh, find out where I'm, what my timing needs to be. So once I have those recorded, I can close my preview and then go to my timeline here, up that, and you actually see I have some text boxes here. I've just used for some subtext here. I'm going to drag my first run over to nine seconds. I'm going to have it play for, you know, a couple of seconds here, and then this is a dummy. I'll just have this one come in a, a second after that. I could apply some animations to it and whatnot, but this is, you guys are getting the idea. So once I've got that set time uh, set up, I can hit preview again and just see what it looks like, making sure the timing comes in correctly. Okay, just let it play for about let's see, nine seconds. And there it is. And that's how you're going to time your um, your boxes and things to come in on top of your movie. And there's the last one. I hope that helps.